connection when we talk about the divine feminine and the embodiment of the divine feminine. You have many different manifestations of the goddess energy. And one of those manifestations is the energy that comes through and clears away all of that which is blocking us from expanding, blocking us from living as the connected, expansive, divine beings we are. To have to maintain your practice, your commitment to your inner life, to stay open and vulnerable and present, self-realized, um, willing to be fully in your humanity is what, to me, living in the divine feminine is all about. One, he said, I am not a man. I'm not a woman. I'm not myself. I'm not a person. I'm a teacher. But however, as a woman, you're the first teacher on this earth creation of patriarchy with women as the subjugated second sex didn't just ill-define the woman, which is why the too much comes in, but it robbed men of their humanity. To be human now was to be feminine. That's why Gandhi said a daily prayer, make me more feminine. Men, you carry the seed of life within your bodies. We nurture that seed within our womb. So there can't be a separation between us. En nuestra tradición, para cuidar nuestro propio territorio, que es nuestro cuerpo físico. In our tradition, to take care of our territory, which is our body. Primero tenemos que sentir la vibración de la Madre Tierra. First we need to feel the vibration of the Mother Earth. Y eso es lo que hemos perdido. And that's Por, what we have lost. Porque no, no hemos sabido concentrarnos, ni escuchar, ni sentirlo. Because we have forgotten how to concentrate, how to feel, and how to listen. That message then that has been echoed so beautifully of come, unity. Come, unity. Unity within the self. Our hearts, our bodies, our minds, our wombs, our mountains, our rivers, our valleys, our feelings, our shakti, our power. Come unity. Ya suena el tambor, llevan las danzantes, sembrando las plantas.